kind of like kind of off. Fulgen systems. We need to do a pushing thing here. You guys pay attention. Ready? Yep. Okay, I got the camera. Three. Ready, set, go. So they delivered and dumped the satellite at the same time. So they fold that up out of the way. Do an attachment. The robot is very compact. Notice how compact it is. It's going to come out here, turn, come this direction, and then it's going to scoop those. And turn some more. And uh, try to release the. It tried to release the train car, but it didn't succeed. Here they're going to put a different attachment on it. Visual line up. Notice that the front bar is even with something. Come down. Try to hook all of these. Drag back because their robots compact enough, they're able to fit back in the base area. Again, using the arm. And they've got a device here on the side. Now you'll notice they are running against the wall with just a friction, just a friction based slider allows them to run against the wall. And we'll zoom out here, they're going to come down, position just right, pull up slow. When they touch it, then they're going to push, dump the barrels, and they also have a little car that tripped off of the side when they did that, and so they accomplished the mission of delivering something into the water at the same time. So they accomplished two missions. The car was on wheels, so therefore it rolled off. Now we're going to take a whole group of things and push them out at once. Nice delivery. They go fast and they slow down. Very compact robot. All working on the principle of just a friction slider, which also becomes part of what they use to position themselves on the front of it. Notice that the piece that slides against the wall right underneath his hand is permanent, is one of those items that they never take off of the robot. So they don't use any wheels to slide against the wall, they just use a flat uh, beam technique. Oh, excuse me. So the first thing that they're going to do is just push out all of these items. And they've come up with uh, jigs and fixtures to hold on to the items so that when they bring them out, they can all be left there. Now that's going to go over and push on this, trigger the satellite, and come back to home. Go, go, go. Now they're going to go, put their go, next go. adapter on. You'll notice that there's a light sensor here, a push sensor right behind it. And they're going to come out here, use the light sensor to locate the edge, and then using the light sensor to locate the edge, they're going to pick up all of these. And then when they back up, I want to check the time. Over. I want to check the time on this. So keep going. And they're going to come as, over, as and they're going to push the that. The table? So that Everybody releases the coal back. car. Then they're going to turn around, and they've picked up all of these others, and they're going to drag them back and be completely in base. Now they're going to put a couple more adapters on this. One is they're going to shoot. They're going to shoot the. Uh, item that goes into the ocean. Put the car inside of this thing. 
They've got the solar panel on top of it. It's going to locate itself. They're using a sensor to know where they're at. Once they know where they're at, then they turn. They're going to shoot, watch it shoot the... Uh, it's going to leave that on there and it's going to shoot that piece out, leaving the car. It's going to go over and just grab the truck. By grabbing the truck, it's going to take the truck back. Then with the truck on it, they're going to take, put the pins in. Lots of time. Lots of time. And they're going to deliver several more things by doing the delivery method here. So I've got the truck, lots of jigs and fixtures to hold all this stuff. Get the right program running. It'll turn now. They watch for that turn. It's going to deliver the dam, deliver the truck. It's going to use the light sensor to locate exactly where it needs to be. It's going to leave that exactly where it needs to be. And then they just leave the robot here at the end. Leaving the robot where it is buys you time because you don't have to touch it at the end of the round.